The Ohio State Police Command has said it received a report that the hoodlums who burnt the residence of popular Yoruba activists, Sunday Adeyemo, otherwise known as Sunday Igboho, loaded themselves in a bus and shot into the air several times. The pop police public relations officer in the state, Mr. Olubenga Fadei, said this in a statement on Tuesday. Father, he noted that the police were told that the arsonists shot around the residence located in the Soka area of Ibadan, or your state, several times as they put fire to the house. He said the police had begun an investigation into the incident. The house was said to have been burned at around 3 a.m. on Tuesday after the power supply to the area was cut off. The police statement reads, at about 6.20 hours of today, 26th of January 2021, a report was received at the Santo police station that some unidentified hoodlums came to Sunday Igboho's house at Soka area of Ibadan in a homo bus and Mikra taxi, firing sporadically and set the house ablaze. The mini sitting room got burned in the process, while the value of other properties are yet to be estimated. Immediately, the DPO Sanyo got wind. Immediately, the DPO got wind of the incident. He contacted the fire service, while he also went to the scene for an on-the-spot assessment. The fire was eventually put out. An investigation has commenced into the incident while the police are on the trail of the hoodlums. All right, guys, you will uh, recall that Sunday Igboho came into the limelight just a um, few days ago when uh, the issue of the headsmen uh, clashes with uh, the farmers in that community became a thing of high tension which was going to lead to chaos around uh, the community. But however, just this morning, it was re revealed that some hoodlums who uh, were probably were enemies of the Yoruba activists came around and burned his home. Well, it is what it is. The Yoruba activist has said that he has handed over the whole thing into the hands of the security agencies to carry out the investigation as proper. The uh, burning of his home cannot be unconnected to the issue that happened in the, at the Igogo area of uh, Oyo State and the Ibarakwa area of uh, Oyo State uh, a, as related to the exit order that he gave to the headsmen to leave the community and uh, leave the state. You recall that the headsmen were, were being accused of carrying out kidnapping activities, um, armed robbery, and some other issues that were reported in the state. But however, it cannot be ascertained who exactly were those responsible. While some people are saying that the headsmen are the ones responsible for burning his home, some other people are saying that they were hoodlums. But however, the Nigerian police force has commenced investigation into the incident and they are probably looking on how to get to know or get into the root of the matter to ascertain those who were behind the incident. The question is, why on earth would such uh, be carried out on someone who stood out or stood up for his people? What exactly was his crime? Rising up to defend his people or did he take somebody else's job? What could have been his offense and why was his house raised down or burnt down as the case may be? But it remains to be seen. He's coming into the limelight just um, in a matter of a few days or weeks 
has really shut him up and uh, he is probably seen as an enemy of either the state or enemy of some political opponents who feel that or enemies of some uh, monarchs, traditional rulers, who probably feel that he is taking the spotlight away from them. These are some of the uh, insinuations that are actually out there in the mind and in the open and in the streets. But however, it remains to be seen what um, the true incident is. Probably at the end of the investigation that will be conducted by the Nigerian police, it probably might be ascertained as to, as to what exactly is uh, the reason behind the burning of Sunday Igbo's home. This is sad and unfortunate. You know, this is somebody who stood up for the people when the government abandoned them or when the government was silent, when other politicians were silent, when other uh, top aides or people who actually were supposed to, you know, stand up for this community, you know, ignored them and were silent. But Sunday Igbo, immediately he was called upon, he came up and uh, did the needful and uh, has was able to... Uh, rescue the people of the Ibarakwa and the Igaga area of your state. But however, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular investigation that is set to be carried out by the Nigerian police force. Don't forget that Sunday Igboho is someone that uh, is really, really known for his uh, mystical powers and, um, you know, the things that he probably... Uh, do. And to a very large extent, he probably might just be an enemy to some of the top politicians or top people in the state. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? Do you think that uh, going after Sunday Ibuho because he was not arrested by the police was a good thing? Did he deserve to be uh, arrested or did he actually deserve to suffer this um, burning of his home that has been carried out by these people? Well, it is what it is. I find it difficult to understand or to um, come to terms with the reason behind burning Sunday Igbo's home. It is really, really sad and unfortunate that this is happening. It goes a long way to tell you that the Nigerian security forces and police force, as it were, are not doing enough. If they are actually doing enough to protect citizens, you know, this shouldn't have happened or they would have gotten wind of this particular incident or they would have been suspicious. Information probably would have filtered into, you know, the air and they probably would have gotten hold of it to know that something like of this nature probably might be occurring and they probably would have arrested the situation but it's unfortunate that that is not the case well it's sad and unfortunate we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now